Charlie D'Amelio just revealed a big secret about her sister Dixie on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. We will fill you in on all the juicy answers and when to expect new music from Dixie. I'm Kelsey McDonald and you're watching The Daily Report. Make sure to stay tuned for a special announcement at the end of The Daily Report today. You're not going to want to miss out. Our favorite TikTok sisters, Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio, had the opportunity to be on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon last night, and they revealed some juicy secrets in a game called Know Your Sis. First of all, I just have to say, Charlie and Dixie looked absolutely stunning. Anyway, during the game, Jimmy asked both of the sisters a question about one of them to see if they would answer it the same way. The first question was about Charlie, so she put on noise-canceling headphones so she couldn't hear Dixie's answer. Jimmy asked Dixie, quote, what is the most normal teenager thing that Charlie does? Dixie answers with, quote, her room basically looks like a toy store with stuffed animals, kinetic sand, Orbeez, like she has a five-year-old's room. Honestly, can I come over though? It sounds like so much fun. <laughs> I love kinetic sand. Good time, good time. After Charlie took off the headphones, she answered the question as well and matched Dixie saying, quote, probably the fact that I have a lot of toys. The second question asked was what Dixie normally does on her off day. And both girls answered the same, saying that Dixie sleeps all day. Same girl. <laughs> when I'm not doing this, couch, bed, sleep. The last question is where it got juicy. Jimmy asked Charlie, quote, when is a time that Dixie broke the rules that your parents still don't know about? Charlie told Jimmy, quote, I'm gonna get her in trouble, but continued to tell him that Dixie stole their mom's car one time. She said, quote, I think she wanted to be rebellious once and that was it, she stopped there. I don't think I've ever snuck out of the house, stole my mom's car. I'm such a goody two shoes. I've never had my rebellious phase yet, Kyle. What can, what can I do? Charlie told Jimmy that she was hoping their mom already knew about the situation, so she wasn't the first one to tell her. Thankfully, Dixie said that she told her parents a few weeks prior, so technically, Charlie didn't rat out her sister. Dixie and Charlie also talked about when they first joined TikTok. Dixie told Jimmy that she felt that Charlie joined the app when it was still quote unquote really embarrassing, and she thought she was so weird for posting videos. But as we all know, Dixie did eventually join TikTok, and we are so glad she did. <laughs> Jimmy asked Charlie about her changing content on TikTok. Charlie said that she wanted fans to know what she's doing on a daily basis, and if that means giving reviews on Kinetic Sand, then so be it. <laughs> I'm so here for this Kinetic Sand reviews. Tell me which ones Charlie and I'm buying. She also went on to say that being being honest on social media is very important. She said, quote, I think you have to be as authentic as you can be because people can tell when you're not being authentic and they don't resonate with that as much. And if you didn't know, Charlie was a competitive dancer before she started her career on TikTok and she revealed on the show that she just started getting back into training. She said that she recently got a dance studio in her house and will be working on a solo dance this year with her trainer. How exciting, we're gonna look out for that. She said she really misses competitive dancing and would love to get back into it really soon. Dixie also revealed that her next song will be coming out on April 9th and that there is an album in the works. Ooh, I called it. Mark those calendars. These girls are on fire and their entire family is about to join their spotlight when their docu-series show, The D'Amelio Show, comes out on Hulu. So pumped to binge watch that. But Dixie is also getting some hate recently on the internet once again. She revealed that people are coming after her because they think she's performing at the Grammy Awards. A fake Grammys performers list made its way around the internet that included Dixie and Twitter haters were not afraid to share their thoughts. Dixie told her quote unquote spam insta to address the rumors. At first, she went along with a joke writing on her Instagram stories quote, oh my God, I cannot wait for the Grammys. But then she posted quote, also, why the f am I getting hate for a rumor? I'm tired. So no, Dixie will not be performing at the Grammys, but come on everyone, leave the girl alone. The hate is not necessary. And now for that special announcement from my girl, Jenna Ortega. Jenna? Thank you so much, Kelsey. Hey guys, it's Jenna Ortega and I'm going to give you a look into my movie, Yes Day. Check it out. If there's one thing I've learned from being a mom, it's that parents and kids no, 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 no. always disagree on one thing. No, no, no! Rules. But saying no 50 times an hour? No. Absolutely not! Nope on a rope. It's part of the job. No, 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 no. But all of that is about to change. 
Have you heard about yesterday? It's this new thing where parents say yes to everything their kids ask for for 24 hours. Radical! How am I just hearing about this? Well, yes days are like fun, and mom and dad are like fun killers. We are plenty fun. We used to say yes to everything. We can be fun again. Really? Let's do this! Arriba! Arriba! It's yes day! Who's ready for yes day? Ah! Ellie wants to do your hair and makeup. I have a vision. Yes. I'm glad you're using your, your watercolors. Windows down! What? What do we do? One word, two letters, and oh. Windows down! Windows down! This is gonna be awesome! Charge! You are going down! See, I'm not always a fun killer. There's no way you guys are gonna make it throughout the whole day. Okay, Daddy? I had to be a party pooper, but I'm done. Are you going home? I can't believe I let you fool me into thinking that you changed. I hear myself when I'm with the kids, and I think I wouldn't even hang out with me. If we want Yes Day to make a difference, we need to go all in. I need to win this gorilla for my kids. You're going down, lady. I did it! I, I won the gorilla! I Stand still, please. Oh. Oh, can I do that again? Get ready for some fun! What is happening? Yes Day is out on March 12th, only on Netflix. So please be sure to check it out because I had so much fun making this film and I think you guys will enjoy it as much as me. Thanks, Jenna. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to watch Yes Day. That's definitely the plan for tomorrow. But now we wanna know what you think. Are you going to be watching The D'Amelio Show? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel and make sure to follow us at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. And guys, make sure to follow the Daily Report podcast on Spotify. The link is right there down in the description box below. What's keeping you from pressing that button? I'm Kelsey McDonald and Kyle, I literally think I have no rebelliousness in me. I've stayed past curfew once, like, sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> I know they're watching. <laughs>